Jeremy Tanner, do me a favor. Hey, Kristen, everybody do me a favor. Get a pen and piece of paper. By the way, hey, my team, you guys do the same thing. You guys grab some. Okay, grab some to write with. That's cool. Listen, this is going to be our meeting. This is going to be our meeting this morning. I'm going to have it with you. I'm going to have it with my team. I saw. Whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, clap the room. I'm coming through. They want to see what I'm about. Yeah, I got skills. Do it for the thrill. I'm on a paper route. I'm lucky. So I want everybody to write this down. Evan, come on, everybody. It doesn't matter where you're at. Everybody write this down. The number one way people handicap themselves. The number one way a person can handicap themselves. Look, I'm going to tell you, if you're not getting what you want in life, I'm going to tell you why you're not getting it. This is for my team. This is for you guys. This is for all of us. Okay? It really is. This is the best truth you'll ever hear. The number one way people handicap themselves. I want you to write this down. They assume and they tell themselves stories about their situation. Write that down. You assume and you tell yourself stories about your situation. Do me a favor. It's also about life and your circumstances that aren't true. I'm going to read it to you. You assume and you tell yourself stories about your situation, about your life, and about your circumstances that aren't true. They're not true. You are lying to yourself. You know that you're a liar, okay? You're making up shit about yourself. Assume and tell stories about yourself and about your situation, your life, and your circumstances that are not true. Every single person has one thing holding them back. It's right here. With my team, it's in your head. With me, it's in my head. With you, it's in your head, okay? This is stage one. I'm going to give you five, five ways. One, two, three, four, five. By the time I get to five, you'll understand how to fix every problem in your life right now. Every problem. Woo! Money, relationships, your health. I don't care. Everything's going to be fixed. So, number one, the first start of the problem. This is where the problem starts. You assume and tell yourself stories about your situation, your life, your circumstances that are not true. All right, number two, okay? You let that assumption or that story, write it down, you let that assumption or that story that you made up, okay, dictate your actions. Look, you lie to yourself, I'm going to ask you this, if you feel like you got a problem, what type of action do you take? Not a lot, okay? If you tell yourself your life isn't great, you're not blessed, you're not the luckiest person to ever live. Do you think that you're going to have much luck today? No, you're not. So, because you tell yourself about a situation, life circumstances that aren't true, what happens is you let those assumptions from number one, right? Those stories that you made up, no one else screwed you. You guys screwed yourself. I can screw myself, okay? I let those assumptions dictate my actions. Because the way I feel about myself, my story, and my state is going to be based off the actions that I take. Am I right? Let's go to three now. Number three, okay? Because of number one and number two, okay, you become crippled. Now you're stuck. Okay? Now you don't like who you are, and you're not taking the action that you need to take to get the results that you want in life. What are you? You're crippled. You're done. Everybody's done in here. You guys are done. I'm done. Everybody's done. Do you guys see how simple this is? You want the formula to freaking knock it out of your life and change it? You want the real formula. It's right here in your own head. You guys are pointing at other people saying, he's the problem, she's the problem. I don't like what they're doing. You're doing something to yourself and you don't like it. Knock it off. Knock it off. So, in case anybody just got out, I'm going to walk through it fast. Number one, the first problem on the way that people handicap themselves is they assume and they tell themselves stories about their situation, life, and their circumstances that aren't true. Number two, they let those assumptions and those stories that they made up dictate their actions. Since because, number one, you are told yourself a shitty story and now your state is shitty, and now you won't take any action because you don't like who you are because of the fake story you made up. Now you become crippled. All right, now number four, okay? 
What it does is, is that it takes you far away from the truth. Write that down. It takes me far away from the truth. Let me explain the truth. The truth is I'm made to be great. The truth is I'm capable of anything. The truth is I can beat any problem in my life. But you know what? Because of this, that bullcrap story, because of all the shit I made up, because the actions I didn't take, because of the way I felt, you know what? I became crippled, and now it takes me, which is the truth, you can beat anything. You're great. You're capable. It takes you far away from it. And who did it? You guys did it. You did it. Yes. Guys, do you see how easy it is to beat everybody? Guys, is this easy? You think people are sitting here on a Monday morning learning about how they're becoming crippled and what they can do to change it? No way. You know what they're doing? The same old, same old. Everybody, look, round and round, round and round. Same old story. Ain't happening in my life. Not going to happen with my team. And it's not going to happen with you if you're willing to change. All right? Are you willing to change? Can you quit self-sabotaging yourself? You guys, you're doing it to you. You're the problem. I'm the problem. Anytime that my life doesn't go the way that I want it to go, I'm the problem. Somewhere my perspective has shifted. Everybody has problems. Guys, extreme ownership. It's time for it. Extreme ownership. You're the reason you're not getting what you're getting. Now, it's easy to say, but now we need to understand it. I'm explaining it to you. Okay? Guess what? We're going to finish here with number five. Number four, it takes you far away from the truth. I told you this is the truth. You're made to be great. You're beautiful. You've got the best personality in the world. You can close any customer. You're going to earn more than more money than you know what to do with. But you're all the way over here because that's the truth. And this is all taking you far away from it because you're crippling yourself. You are. Number five, this person keeps going round and round inside the world, inside the world. The world is your mind. You keep going round and round inside your shitty assumptions that who created? You created. You guys create your own problems. This right here, you keep going round and round inside the world, which is your head of all the shitty assumptions that you created for yourself. No one created them for you. You created them. Now watch this. The times in my life that my life didn't go the way that I wanted it, it was because of me. Look, you guys have everything in this world right now that you need. Think about it. Your life's pretty good, okay? Let's just call it like it is. Imagine how, li how great life would be if you literally just realized how great your life was and you quit. Look. Would you talk to your children the way you talk to yourself? I don't think so. Okay, some of you are very ugly to yourself. You're very ugly. So, my goal is to put you in a state and for you to tell yourself a story that will want to make you take more action, take more risks than you ever have in your entire life, ever. You know why? Because you feel like you can win. Why? Because of the things that you've told yourself. And then guess what? While the rest of the world is crippled, how easy is it for you to come in and be great? Oh my God. It's like taking candy from a baby. Does that make sense? Yeah. yeah. Okay, guys, look, I'm going to hand this over to Sean. I want to say this round and round, round and round, round and round. You want to get off the hamster wheel? Go back to number one. Okay? Change the story. Change the situation that you keep telling yourself you're in. You're not in that situation, okay? Okay, you want to feel, feel pity on yourself. That's what you want to do, okay? I know it's sick. You People love to feel pity on themselves. They like, you know why? I think people need to feel alive, and instead of feeling love and going out and doing great stuff, they like to sting themselves with pain so they can feel it, okay? It's disgusting. Knock it off, okay? He can feel really good. That's a much better addiction, okay? So guess what? change the situation, the life, and the circumstance story and start telling yourself what is true. Go back to number one and take out, take out one word. Everybody do this. Watch. Watch how fast your life will change. 
assume the stories they tell themselves about their situation, their life, and their circumstances that are true, not that aren't true. We put our true in there, one word, remember I always tell you guys one word, close the deal? One word, go to are instead of aren't, and all of a sudden, guess what? The actions that you take are through the roof, and you're doing phenomenal at them. You're not crippled. You're living in the truth, and then the world you're going round and round in is a beautiful life, and you're winning at levels in every area that you always wanted to win in. Anyways, guys. Woo! Hey, yeah. Let's go.